In today's video, I'm going to share with you five fabulous Christmas DIYs that are super easy to make and on a total budget. Keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home. I am Ramon, a Christmas design expert and seasonal decorator here to help you feel more comfortable about your designs. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you five absolutely gorgeous Christmas DIYs that are super easy to make and on a total budget. If you are interested in beautiful DIYs for Christmas 2024, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends on Facebook, on Instagram, and on WhatsApp. Why? Well, because it is free and it really helps this channel. Now, if you are already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss all the Christmas series for 2024. You guys, we're coming up with some beautiful Christmas trees that I cannot wait for you to see. And speaking of Christmas trees, so far we've done a beautiful traditional with nutcrackers, a gorgeous glam with beautiful rose gold, a blue and white, and the penguin tree was also beautiful. There's a whole playlist of other DIYs and Christmas trees down below to inspire you to create beautiful DIYs for your home this holiday season. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start with a gorgeous reindeer arrangement for your mantle that it is super easy. I know you're gonna love it. Let's take a look. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the bristles from each side and just give them a light twist. And I'm gonna do that all the way to the bottom so both of the garlands are unified into just one. And then that way he looks like he has a wreath around his neck. Make sure that you do it securely where you pull and it doesn't come off like that. So it looks like a swag going down. You can still see his feet. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my gold ribbon and I'm gonna start right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bristles and then just twist. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some pretty loops smaller because you don't want to overpower and overtake over on the neck of your reindeer. So I'm going to go ahead and cross the ribbon over to this side and just do a loop right here. These loops are probably about four inches. So we can cover some of that garland as well and make sure that you weave it into your garland right here. Look at that. How pretty is that? Go ahead and give it a crinkle right there. I'm going to do another mini loop right here. One more right here, and then just pull back like that. And then I'm gonna finish by dovetailing my ribbon right here. So cut going up like that. Cute, so that gives us some texture into the garland and it's starting to look like a wreath around his neck. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my really beautiful ribbon that we used on our um, fireplace. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on the floor once again starting always by dovetailing. If you just start by the dovetail, then it is way easier to maneuver. So I'm gonna go ahead and do right here a pinch. Then I'm gonna do a loop. Always, it is also easier if you fold down and then you twist right here. You go ahead and grab that and then fold down and I'm gonna go ahead and do a three loop like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my third ribbon which is my favorite, this mesh looking ribbon. So I'm gonna start by doing another loop, but I'm gonna do it the other way. And then I'm gonna bring it back up and I'm gonna do a loop right here. For this particular one, I'm only gonna do a two loop like this. How beautiful is this, you guys? I just love all the sparkle in it. Then I'm gonna grab my wire and I'm going to tie all of these together. Super easy, super simple. Just give it a really, really tight pull and then you secure it by twisting. Make sure that you give a few twists. And so now we have a gorgeous bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here and right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and install my bow right here. How cute is this? You can do it two ways. You can just do it by attaching the wire to the garland what I'm doing, or you could also cross a bristle into the um, bow and then secure it right here in the middle. But for this occasion, I'm just gonna go ahead and dovetail right here. How cute is that? Then I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail this one right here and I wanna make it as long as I can, like that. 
Oh, we have another one here with the dovetail. You guys have called me out a few times on my dovetails already. All right, so, so far, how cute is this? This is absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab one of the picks and this is the one that we use hanging down on the fireplace. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these guys into smaller pieces like this. I'm gonna cut this one into three or two. This one is a tough one. You know quality when it's tough like that. You can hear it by snapping. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. So we're gonna start with this guy right here. And so I have my glue right here. I'm gonna dip into my glue. Make sure I get some of that glue. And then because we have this garland, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right there. And we're gonna create a swag going around his neck. So I'm gonna do one right here. I'm gonna give this one a little curvature. Always remember to just give it a little crinkle so that way it looks more natural. Let it run down and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab and right here. Look at that. Then I'm gonna add one going down. So just give it a little crinkle. Add a little bit of your glue. You still wanna go ahead and grab one of those bristles and then just twist it. The glue is just to secure it. Then I have a fourth one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it on the back just to make sure that it's even all the way around. So I put a little bit of glue on it. If you guys don't know about this glue, this is Flores glue. Um, it's a pellet glue, so it is better than just your regular hot glue. Look how cute. All right. So then I have this other pick right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in two, maybe two. And I do have two, so I'm going to go ahead and cut them both at once. You guys know I like to do cut all of my materials at once, so I can insert all of my materials at once because that creates balance in your arrangement. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dip a little bit into my glue like that. And so basically we're just creating a lot of texture with this pick, look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So these reindeer's gonna look like he just went to the forest and he got caught into a beautiful forest of glitter cedar. What do you guys think so far, isn't this fun? I really hope that you are enjoying this holiday series. And like I told you earlier, the best is yet to come. All right, so I'm going to do one more right here. And I wanna know which theme has been your favorite. So far we've done the rose gold, we've done the children's theme, and then now we've done this glam theme. And I really want you guys to leave me a comment down below and let me know which of all of them has been your favorite so far. All right, so then this is really, really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these magnolias. So I'm gonna cut a few of them. And probably three will do the trick. Like that. I wanna go ahead and give it a little fold to the head like this. Dip into my glue. And remember, everything needs to come out of your bow. So go ahead and open that bow. Add that flower right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one over on this side. Now, the arrangement on the fireplace, on the mantle itself, doesn't really necessarily have to be exactly like this one, like I told you earlier. They can be sisters, they don't have to be twin sisters. As long as they look like they are from the same family, then that's all that matters. This one got a little stain right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it for another one so it's not all stained. I think it got stained on my glue pan. All right, like that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little curve like this. I'm gonna dig into my glue and let it run down. I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here. Look how cute is this? Oh my gosh. Now my favorite thing and element is this. Look at this bear, you guys. Isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? And it comes three. Usually you would stick it into your tree and let it hang out like this. But for this particular project, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy short. So we're gonna do three. Then look at this cluster, absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my glue. Let it run like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start right here on the top. And I'm gonna add one like that. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one a little shorter. Give it a little fold like this. Dip into this glue. This glue is absolutely amazing because it is weatherproof. So that means that you can put it outside and the weather will not affect it. Look how gorgeous that is. That's always stunning. And here's a longer one that I'm gonna put over here, going towards the bottom. When you have something going towards the bottom, it is better if you secure it with a stem, but still go ahead and add some glue 
to this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like that, but I'm still gonna grab two of these stems and just circle it around like this. So that way it's double secure. Okay, I have one more and I feel like I do need a few more. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these guys a little shorter. And probably two will do. How cute is this? I am having so much fun. All right, so I'm gonna add one more going this way, right there. And then I'm gonna add one coming over this way. Like so. And that is it. I'm gonna put this on our fireplace and I will give you a look of the end result. Keep watching, I think you're gonna like it. Wasn't that so much fun? You guys, this is total budget DIY making because all you need is a few picks, a few flowers, and an old garland to put around the reindeer neck. I know that if I can do it, so can you. But now I'm going to share with you two of my favorite Christmas decorating tips for your Christmas tree. They are also on a total budget. These are items that you may already have laying around the house. Let's take a look. All right, you guys, so I wanna give you a really quick tip to add candles to your tree. I wanted to add some of these flameless candles. So what I did is I went ahead and wrapped a thinner wire into my LED candle. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under, and if you have a helper, it really does help right now, but go under like this, and then you wanna go ahead and tie a knot right here, holding your candle in place like this. And then you might wanna do a little bow just to finish it off cute bow and fluff your little bow like this you can go ahead and use that wire to really fluff this bow and if you want to go ahead and just do something fun with a wire right here like that and then all you need is your remote control to turn your candle on and look at that you have a cute little candle on your tree All right, everyone, to create these fabulous ornament clusters, what you're going to need is a variety of sizes of ornaments. I've chosen some glitter ones, some shiny ones, and some matte ones. And then also I've chosen different sizes on ornaments. As you guys can see, I have four different sizes. And then what you're going to need is wire cutters to cut your wire. Already, like I told you before, I have my wires pre-cut. So I wanna go ahead and get one. This is about, probably about seven inches. Then what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and put your first ornament through. Then you're gonna bend it right here and you might want to twist it. Because what we're going to do is we're gonna make sure that we put all of our ornaments in varying sizes. You don't want all of the sizes at the same time because then it will not look like a cluster. Think of it when grapes grow in a vineyard, not all of the grapes are the same size. And that's what makes them look really, really unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the last one right here. And I'm going to add this tiny little one at the end. All right, so I have this cluster, kind of looks like a grape. Now here's what you want a longer wire, because what you want to do is you want to pre-make other ones. And to make it longer, what you need to do is just twist this wire together like this. And then you grab another one and you continue to go up like this. And you just grab another one and you continue to go up like this. And we're gonna grab the last one and I'm gonna put it right here. And I would use this wire right here to attach to my tree. As you guys can see, I left enough wire. And you have this massive cluster of ornaments that you can use as an ornament in your Christmas tree and it's going to add so much character. Because look what this is going to do. You look for a spot like right here where there's a hole. You just go ahead and add this cluster and it automatically just adds all of these ornaments at once. When you have little clusters like this, I like to add them to the bottom and let them kind of hang down. And if you have way too much wire, 
I really recommend to just go ahead and clip it off and save it. You might need that for another cluster. So I'm gonna continue to add clusters to my tree, like right here, and you want them to be in prominent spots, especially these smaller ones so they really show. If you have a larger cluster like this one right here, I, have, I am obsessed over this cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this right here and basically just clip that into my tree and let those ornaments hang. Look how beautiful that is. I have a few more that I'm going to add. This larger cluster, I'm gonna add over on this side. So I feel like it needs to fill in this spot and just basically just swirl that wire around and hide it or cut it. It's up to you. Let me see, let me go to this side. I'm gonna add this cluster over here. Having a larger wire really allows you to work through your ribbon, as you guys can see, and just place it anywhere you need or anyone you want. It's your tree, you can do whatever you want. Nobody's judging you. And if they are, they shouldn't be invited to your house. All right, so I'm going to add, let's see. I'm gonna add one, pretty well on this side, over here. Yeah, I feel like it needs one right here. Just make sure you click it. I'm gonna get my florals ready and I'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. I mean, who doesn't have a few candles laying around the house, right? You can add those to your Christmas tree to really create a statement. And you guys, the ornament clusters are now a classic. I really hope that you learn a few tricks. But now I'm going to share with you how you can decorate a beautiful mental step by step. Let's take a look. I could not be more excited to show you guys how I'm going to decorate my mantle for this holiday season. The very first thing you need to do is install your garland. And if you have seen the video on how to create a mantle on the Glim theme with a big reindeer here, if you have not seen that, I'm gonna link it down below with us. Exactly what I did is I just swagged my garland, did a swoop in the middle. And the very first thing I'm going to do is add these LED lights. On our last video, we added them last because it was a very champagne color, so I wanted them to not get lost. But because I'm gonna add some really pungent colors like this red and this black and white right here, along with the gold, I want them to hide them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lay my lights right there, and then you just wanna silk, um, zigzag in and out like this. You might wanna leave some bristles. And I really just recommend to very loosely put them in. You don't wanna go ahead and tie them all the way because it really is hard to take them up when it's, because it's really hard to take them out when the holiday season is out. If you do need to secure somewhere, what I really recommend is just go ahead and grab one of these tips and then fold the tip and that should hold it right in place. All right, so you're just gonna continue to zigzag your lights all the way. We're gonna create some really awesome focal points that I will show you right now with the ribbons. But as you guys can see, it was just enough lights for this garland. This is a nine foot garland. And what I do is I'll, I just lay him down and then what I do is I zigzag him in and you guys will see right here how easy it really is to do this. And at the end, I'm just gonna fold a tip to hold it. And now we have all of our lights. And what I really like about these lights is because they have multiple rise lights in it. So you can really play with them and make sure they show, but we'll fluff all of that at the end. So the next step is going to be to add our ribbons. And I've selected this really beautiful red ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on the floor. It looks like Santa's coat and I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dovetail my ribbon right here. I have all of my tools at the ready. I have my wire cutters, my scissors, and all of my wires that I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a longer tail like that. Then I'm gonna pinch and I wanna make a bow. And if you guys can see right here, there is a bow where a wreath is going to be hanging from. And I cannot wait to show you the end result. So I'm gonna do two really rather lo uh, large loops like this. And I'm gonna grab one of my wires and I'm gonna go ahead and tie this. And I want these loops to be really big because I really want them to show. This is gonna be the, the focal point in the room on this side. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add this right here on the corner. And I'm just gonna attach one of these wires like this and just swirl it around one of your bristles and then you fluff like that. 
And with this one right here, you might want to go ahead and just pinch right here, grab one of your bristles, and twist. How fun. Do you just have your dovetail right here? Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this black and white ribbon. Uh, I just like to drop them on the floor because it is easier that way. So basically just dovetail your ribbon right here. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying these 12 days of Christmas. I'm super excited to bring you all of these ideas for the holiday season. And if you want to see even more, just leave the hashtag at 12 days of Christmas down in the description box below so that I know that you are interested. All right, so I did, uh, I'm going to do three of these because I really want the black and white to show. So I did two of the black, or I'm sorry, the red and white. So I'm going to do three loops of the black and white. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it a, an even longer tail. So put about right there. Just cut your ribbon, grab one of your wires, and tie all of this together like this, very tightly. You want to make sure this is really tight so the bow doesn't lose its shape. And then what you do with this is you go ahead and grab the bow and then you put it right on top of the other one. And we'll fluff it in a second so you guys see what I'm doing. And then just throw that wire into one of your bristles, pushing all the way down like this. And then you just want to go ahead and fluff your bows, like I said. But first, I'm going to go ahead and tie this guy right here. So I'm going to do one more loop. I'm going to attach right here. As I told you, I really want these ribbons to show. So I'm making even bigger loops than normal. Like this. I'm going to pull down a little bit. And then I'm going to dovetail right here. Always dovetail. Remember I told you if I come to your home and it's not dovetail, I'm going to start dovetailing your ends for you. All right. So, so far, look how cute this is, you guys. You just swirl them like this, blend them together. Forgot to dovetail this guy right here. You guys have called me out for not dovetailing some of my ribbons. All right, so, so far, look how cute this is looking. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gold one because the Mackenzie Charles look, it's all about black and white with a touch of red and a lot of gold. So I chose this mesh ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an even longer loop. I'm sorry, tail. So we can go all the way down here. I'm gonna drop this on the floor. Then I'm gonna pinch. And for this particular one, because it is a mesh, and I really wanted to show what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do a five loop bow. It's the last two, three. And our wreath also has all of these ribbons. Actually, the wreath has a plaid black and white. And I wanted to show you that you know, when I put the, um, the wreath here, it's all about complementing the pattern. So the other one has a plaid, this one has a Harley Quinn. Um, there's gonna be some polka dots on the Christmas tree, but what they have in common is that they are all black, white combinations of the same patterns, and it just creates more texture. So I'm gonna cut right here. Now I'm gonna grab my wire. And it really uh, works if you guys have your wires already pre-cut. Because look how fast this is. You don't have to stop and do your wire. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to add this one on top of all of it. I'm going to put this tail over on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and find my center right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this guy right in the dead center. And I'm going to look for another bristle and just go all the way down and twist that wire like this into one of your... And look at that. And so now what I can do is I can dovetail my end here. Like this. Look how fun that is. Just like a funky bow, but way easier to make. You don't have to hurt your hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a, a loop right here. Make sure you go all the way down. Like this. Then I'm going to do yet another one here. Like this. Then I'm going to dovetail my ribbon. So this is step number one. I'm going to finish the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a few loops of the red, a few loops of the black, and a few loops of the gold in the other side. I'll do that off camera and I'll show you the end result. Keep watching. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I have finished this side. I went ahead and did the tails on the other side to match. So that way it looks like the bow is going both ways. 
And so now on this side, what I did is I started my black and white and then my red, but I wanna show you something real quick. It really, it really is very important not to try and match both sides because you want them to be sisters or cousins, not really twin sisters. You want them to look alike, but you don't want them to be exactly the same because that gives your garland and your mental even more character. All right, so what I did on this one is I did the black and white on top, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more loop right here and I'm going to tie really tightly with my bristles. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail right here. And all we have left to do, it's the gold one, the mesh. Um, it really adds that sparkle for the holiday season. So I'm gonna bring that one probably now on the top and then end right here with the middle. So stay tuned. Remember to always give it a little tail like this. And as I mentioned before, we're gonna do a five loop just to make sure that it really shows. And you want them to be just as fluffy and big. So I wanna say these are probably about eight inch loops. So there's four, I'm gonna do one more over on this side and one more to finish it all off. And then I'm gonna grab my wire and I'm going to secure all of it with the wire and very tightly. Remember to really pinch. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that on the top. But like I said, I want that tail to be over on this side. So I'm gonna find the middle over here, find my wire first, and then I'm gonna push as far in. And with my wire, I'm gonna find the bristle that is nearby. And then I'm gonna twist that wire into the bristle to secure. And look how cute that is. Then with this one right here, remember to push as far down as you can, and then circle that like that. You wanna fluff your bow all of your bows, pull that tail. Look how cute that is. You don't really need much. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do this loop right here, then just grab these two bristles and twist them. Then I wanna bring that glittery side one more time to the front and I'm gonna add yet another one probably right here. Then I'm gonna fluff like this. And so now I'm gonna make sure that I dovetail this ribbon right here. And look how cute that looks. I love it, so sparkly. All right, so our next step is going to be to add some ornaments to this swag and let me get those ready, I'll be right back. Do you guys remember when I show you how to create these gorgeous ornament uh, garlands? If you have not seen the video on how to make these ornament garlands, I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can check it out. But what I like about this idea is because right here in the middle, we need some ornaments. So you can basically just lay it like this grab some of your bristles and then just twist it and it gives you all of the ornaments that you need. Um, as you can see with one swoop without having to add a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this with a bristle. Look how cute that is. So now I'm gonna add a few red ones right here to kind of blend it all together. Let me get those red and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So the last thing I'm gonna do for the mantle is I'm gonna add some oversized shape ornaments and I'm gonna add that right in the middle of my bow. So I'm gonna dig in here find one of my bristles and just twist it around and just lay that ornament like that. Fluff your bows. Have one last one for this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it right here. Find the bristle and then twist like this. Fluff your bows. I'm gonna set it all up and I'll show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. How fun was that mental, you guys? I absolutely love putting this together. And now I'm going to share with you how you can decorate a beautiful wreath step-by-step -step on a total budget for Christmas 2024. Let's take a look. If you can now make a lavish and gorgeous wreath like the one I just showed, I wanna show you how you can buy one of these pre-made ones and then also just a little garland. And what you need to do is weave this garland through your wreath and it's gonna give it so much more depth. And as you guys can see, I'm doing it with very easily and with basically no effort. But you do have to make sure that 
this garland is weaved in and we're gonna go ahead and attach it with some wire at the end. But I just wanna show you that if you just go in and out in between the ornaments, it really helps to add some girth to the wreath, some texture. Look at that, how pretty is that? Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side and finish over on this side. Then what you need to do is you're gonna grab one of your wires to secure it all. And these are one of the wreaths that it's made out of grapevine. And so it's real easy to just pull that wire through and then attach your wreath like this. All right, so once you have added this garland, all you have to do is go fluff. And what I love about this garland is it's so, so dainty and so uh, wispy. And you guys know I love my wispies. I'm always talking to you about wispiness on the wreaths. All right, so that added some depth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a ribbon that will complement this wreath. We're going to get it all attached together. And in one, two, three, you'll have a gorgeous wreath for your door. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so step number two for this real quick wreath is to make a beautiful bow. And for this particular one, I chose this black and white and a little bit of silver to contrast all the silver on the wreath. So basically, I'm just gonna go back here and I'm gonna pull with my wire as back as I can onto the form. I'm gonna take it actually off the stand so I can do this properly. There we go. So you pull really hard to the back. And then you attach and just make sure that you really um, throw those wires together so they stick together. And because they're uh, pre-taped with that tape, they always tell you guys to get yourself a bolt and it's not going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna hang it right here back into the form. So I have a pretty big bow. What you need to do is fluff this bow and make it look gorgeous and lavish. We'll dovetail all these ends. But what I went ahead and did is I left these really, really long tails. And the reason why is because I wanna go ahead and grab right here, I'm gonna pinch. Then I'm gonna use this ornament right here to create a loop and I'm gonna go around it. Go all the way around that ornament to secure it. And then you've created a little loop. And then we'll go ahead and dovetail this guy right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull this guy up and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, making sure that that designer part of the ribbon shows. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch right here find my ornament that I want to go ahead and twist around to secure, make your loop, and then bow. And because I have another tail right here, I'm going to go ahead and give it an even longer loop right here. And I'm going to grab this ornament and then I'm going to go ahead and twist around the ornament and just pull. And as you guys can see, this is more about the bow. This is a really good way to use your ribbons and to make them really stand out. So I'm gonna do a really short tail, always cutting up. And then you wanna go ahead and give them that little crinkle. Now this one, I'm gonna do a longer tail. So I'm gonna make sure that it stands out to create a little bit of visual interest. And then this guy right here, I'm gonna go ahead, well, first of all, make sure that it's really attached to our ornament. When you go around, just go ahead and pull on that. That is gonna make sure that it's secured. Make sure you give yourself enough give to make that loop. And then we're gonna go ahead and dovetail right here. And as you guys can see, I always tell you to go ahead and fluff your ribbons at the end. And as you can see, it didn't use a lot of product. All you needed was a little wreath a garland and a few ribbons and you have yourself a beautiful wreath for your door for Christmas. Now, wasn't that fun? You guys, all you need is a few strands of garland, wrap it around that existing wreath and then also a big bow and that's how you can make a statement at your front door this Christmas season. Super easy to make and on a total budget. This is my type of decorating and DIYing. And speaking of budget decorating or Christmas decorating on a total budget, now I'm going to share with you one of my favorite DIYs that I've ever done. It is a flat centerpiece that also serves as a swag for your front door. Let's take a look. All right, everyone, so for this fabulous Dollar Tree centerpiece using the Christmas trees, what we're going to need is obviously two of the mini Christmas trees in the green. We're going to use two zip ties. We're gonna use four 
of these picks from the dollar store and these are my favorite this year we're going to use one of these bushes of the berries and a bow that I already pre-made. So let me clear this out real quick and we're gonna get started. We're also gonna need our hot glue gun. So I'm gonna put all of my tools to the side while I take these Christmas trees out of the package. And you guys have seen the centerpieces done, but I'm still gonna show you the Ramon at home uh, version. You guys know that I like to use Dollar Tree items and make them look a little bit more upscale um, so you guys can look absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this over here to the side. So the first thing you need to do is take the stands out of it. And I also love the fact that they come with the little stands. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cross them like this. And by using my zip ties, what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna secure them right here by using two of them. So that way we make sure that they don't move and they don't go anywhere. So basically just zip tie these two guys together as close as you can and pull as tight as you can. And like I said, you wanna do two of them just to make sure that they don't shift. If you do one, then it will shift. But if you do two like this, trust me when I say it is not going anywhere. All right, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and first cut the excess, look here. And then I start the fluffing process. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and fluff out this will look so pretty with some tall taper candles. What I want you to do also is just give it some dimension. Don't do all flat. Also put some up because it is a centerpiece. So it has to be up and down. And if we pull them up, then when we put the tapers down on the table, it helps to disguise that taper. And I will show you once I get it all finished. I'll tell you what it looks like with my taper. Some of them come like that. Save these parts because we can use those to attach to other items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a minute to fluff this and I will be right back with you guys. All right, you guys, so now that our mini trees are all fluffed out and it looks pretty full, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually put it over here to the side and I'm gonna bring two of the picks that I love from the dollar store. And I'm gonna go ahead and crisscross them like this. And also using one of our trusty zip ties, you know, I cannot live without the zip ties. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attach these guys together like this or like so. There goes another like so. <laughs> oh, I'm so trying to get away from it, but sometimes, you know, it just, it's just because I'm a self-taught English speaker once you, you know, once you learn a war, you cannot let go of it. All right, and our bow has these two pipe cleaners that we attach with. So what I'm going to do, is so I'm gonna go ahead and attach my bow. I'm gonna sew it around and very tightly just spin it around, okay? Once you have it like this, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and flap all of your greens and make sure, you know, some of these ornaments are hiding. Make sure that you pull them up over the bow. You can pull this pine cone over here, over the bow, and just go ahead and fluff this bow. Make sure the tails are showing, those ornaments, those berries are showing. They're on a wire, so pull them up like that. All right. So once we have this done like this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my centerpiece back into the picture, and now I'm gonna go ahead and attach this, the bow into the centerpiece and very tightly, once again, you wanna do this very tightly just to make sure that it goes as flat on the centerpiece. You're gonna go ahead and secure it like that. And now you can go ahead and fluff again. Make sure those tails are showing. Make sure I'm gonna bring, because one tail is this way, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the other one all the way over and bring it over here so it's more cohesive. So I like the way this looks already. However, over here is empty. So what I did is I went ahead and put, to get, put apart two of these picks and I just took them apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun and then I'm gonna start gluing some of these pieces. Like if you can see, this is like a, a brush pine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here and that really helps to fill in. 
And then I have this really pretty cedar. So basically just add a little bit of glue to it. And then you can go ahead and poke it in somewhere. And I recommend you poke it like this, like sideways. So that way it is more visible. And then also what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and balance what you're doing. So basically what you do on one side you want to do on the other side. So I added one of the brush ones over here. So then I went ahead and added one of the brush ones over here. Then I added a cedar over on this side. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and add a cedar onto the other side to balance it off. So that way, you, what is it going on over here? It's also going on over here. All right, so this one also comes with this cute little berry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some glue into my berry. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach this guy right here towards the end. Just making sure that I hide the stem. Then because I put one over here, we're gonna go over to the other side. We're gonna put some glue into our berry. And this is called balancing um, your arrangement. I don't know how many of you guys know, but I worked as a florist for over 10 years. And that's where I learned all of my tricks about balancing. So then I have, it also came with some of the same um, pine greenery. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in to kind of fill it in. Not so much because it needs it, but those Christmas trees were the only a dollar, but look what you can do with a dollar. If you pull apart another pick and look, it just helps you to really fill it in and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous for under $8. Can you guys believe that? $8, you can create something gorgeous like this. And I cannot wait to show you what it looks like on my table. All right, so then I have some of these ornaments and they come with a wire. So basically I'm just gonna cut that wire out and I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue into the ornament and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them in to some of my pine bristles like this and secure them. Go ahead and hang on to it for a second. And remember what you do on one side, you have got to go and do on the other side. That's why it's so important to work with equal amounts because when you're balancing, you kinda need that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out and I'm gonna go ahead and add one more right, right, right here. Let your eye dictate where it needs it. Okay, now I have another big one over here so I'm gonna cut that wire out and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue. I'm gonna add this guy right here. Then I have some of these pine cones that are really, really pretty and glittered. I want this guy to be a little bit more in a prominent spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lift my bow right here and I'm gonna put it right here. And that's turning out really cute. Now I also have some of these berries from the bundle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull the stem out and just keep the berries. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue. Now here's something I want you to know. So this is our core right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and then I'm going to go across from my core and I'm going to do one right here. Then I'm going to get a few more just to show you one more time. Then I'm going to do the opposite. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and glue it in and then I'm going to go opposite sides and I'm gonna glue in yet another one. So by adding some glue. So if you guys can see, it balanced the whole centerpiece very well. And then I have two left. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and extend that by adding all the way to the end. And that way it's going to look so much better. Look, now we're extending to one side and we're gonna go ahead and extend to the other side, right here. And just like that, you guys, you have a gorgeous, gorgeous centerpiece for your Christmas table and under $8, how about that?
So what do you guys think? Wasn't this video so much fun? I love sharing with you Christmas DIYs and decorating ideas on a total budget to inspire you to create beauty around your home during the holiday season. I had so much fun, but now it's your turn. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which out of all of these DIYs on a total budget was your favorite so that I can read your comments. You guys, it is my favorite thing to do. Also, I'm gonna put a playlist right here with a lot more Christmas decorating ideas and DIYs to keep you inspired to create beauty around your home for the Christmas season. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And as always, you can watch more videos right now. Until next time, bye.